The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing us under of the soul and the spirit, out of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Now let us begin our Bible study with a time of silent prayer. This opportunity gives you as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ the time that you can ensure that you are in fellowship for the teaching of the Word of God. Remember the very important principle of 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now this gives you, as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, a tremendous problem-solving device. You can use it before the teaching of the Word of God to guarantee that not only are you in fellowship with the Lord, but also to guarantee that you can understand by means of the Holy Spirit the teaching of the Word of God that we are about to face. But for you, unbeliever, it is faith alone in Christ alone. Therefore, let us pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the grace opportunity of fellowshipping in your word today. May God the Holy Spirit motivate and challenge us to continue feeding our soul with your word until we reach the stage of capacity for life, which is the pleroma stage, thus become winners in this present life and in the life hereafter. We pray that what we learn in your word today may become a blessing to our life. All this we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Welcome once again all our subscribers to the Vic Walbido Evangelistic Ministry. The Doctrine of Timing. This is our lesson that we have been uh, learning and studying the past few days and we are going to continue where we left yesterday. Now, first of all, every time we make any decision in life, it has to be done at the right place and at the right time, meaning it has to be made in the place or area of strength Otherwise, the decision we are making would consequently be wrong and bad. Always remember that. Furthermore, no believer would be able to synchronize his timing with God's timing in a state of ignorance of the mystery doctrines of the church age. By the way, why are the current doctrines we are studying in the church age called mystery doctrines? Some believers are asking, well, they are called mystery doctrines because when we study them, there is a right way to do it, using the right thing. Now, what do we mean by that? It means God has His procedure, His protocol that believers have to follow to be in sync with God's timing. Okay, let's repeat the state here that God is perfect. His plan is perfect. And repeating to state this is a matter of inculcating this point of doctrine into our cardia. God's plan is perfect. His attributes are perfect. God in all aspects of His being God is perfect. That includes His timing. There is no timing 
in the entire universe that is perfect except God's. Let that sink in our mind. That's the reason why we are commanded to study the Word of God so we would know how these things we are talking about are possible. Remember, God says in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 12, For wisdom is a defense, as money is a defense. But the excellence of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to those who have it. In Psalm chapter 18, verse 30, it says, As for God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is perfect proven he is a shield to all who trust in him knowledge 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 is what we believers must acquire in order to be right with god and to his perfect timing so we take in bible doctrine regularly persistently and consistently to get knowledge and wisdom Proverbs chapter 2, verses 10 to 11 says, in verse 10, When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. Verse 11, Discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. As what a pastor friend of mine says, Knowledge, 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 vitamin K. <laughs> That's true. Knowledge is a vital part in a believer's life. Without it, without God's wisdom in a believer's frontal lobe of the mentality of his soul, life for him has no meaning, no purpose, no challenge. It's boring. A believer who is ignorant of doctrine is a sure casualty in the angelic conflict spiritual warfare. He is ignorant of truth because of his being a negative, apathetic believer and worse, he is arrogant. Always remember the principle which says, the hardest people to teach are arrogant people. Now, why do you think they are arrogant? They are arrogant because they think highly of themselves. They think they know better than anybody else. So they philosophize by saying, Don't confuse me with the truth. I know more than you do. <laughs> That's an arrogant believer. First Peter chapter 5, verse 5 says, God resisteth the proud, arrogant, but giveth grace to the humble. Okay. Let me point out here again that only God's timing is perfect. And where can we learn or what is the source of learning God's perfect timing? Where? The answer? From God's Word. That is where we come to know and to learn God's will, purpose, and His protocol plan. Because if we have no knowledge about all these things, due to our negative attitude towards Bible doctrine, then that's how we are called by God's Word as fools. Yes, a believer without Bible doctrine is called a fool by the Word. On the other hand, a believer who functions in a spiritual life with Bible doctrine is called wise by the Word of God. God's word in Proverbs 16, 20 says, He who heeds the word wisely will find good. And whoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he. Now, while God is perfect in all aspects of his character, man is imperfect, correct? The timing of believers are imperfect unless they know and learn and believe and live the Word of God in their lives. Because it is in the believer's attitude that they are determined to be in the right timing with God's timing. Hence, 
The key for a believer to be right with God's timing is for him to be positive to Bible doctrine, where he gets to know and learn God's protocol plan for his life, which includes, of course, to be in synchronization with the timing of God. Believers are imperfect. God is perfect. So, believers are imperfect, okay? What's the main reason why believers are imperfect? Believers are imperfect, of course, it includes unbelievers. All members of the human race are imperfect. Do you know why? Because they are descendants of the first parents, Adam and the woman who fell in the Garden of Eden. That's the main reason why all members of the human race are imperfect. No one's exempted except one, and he is the God-man, the Lord Jesus Christ. In fact, he is the only perfect member of the human race. Okay, now, since everybody is imperfect except the Lord Jesus Christ, man's timing likewise is imperfect. Now, when does man's timing become perfect? Well, the only means that man's timing becomes perfect is when he adjusts, he orients, he sets his timing with that of God's, which timing is the only perfect one. But how? How does man adjust, orients, and sets his timing with that of God's? Well, listen. If you are an unbeliever listening to this study, meaning you have not made the most important decision in your life to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior, adjust your timing, orient your timing, set your timing with God's perfect timing by what I just said. Put your faith or believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. That's it. And by the way, that's only the first step for you to be able to set your perfect timing of God. That is what doctrine is telling you. You are to adjust to God's justice. In other doctrinal term, that is salvation adjustment to the justice of God. After you stepped on that stage, you instantly become a believer in time otherwise called phase two life. Now, while you are in that stage in your Christian life, you still carry within you your what? Your old sin nature. Your old sin nature, we call it OSN, the monster inside you, which is Satan's agent to tempt you, to keep pushing you to sin. Hence, God's Word, or God in His Word, is providing you His weapon. And that weapon is the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, for you to use to combat this old sin nature. And hopefully, you'll be able to suppress and neutralize its power to tempt us. You can see here how God demonstrates His perfect provision for us. His love and His care, His concern for your own benefit, His will that you, who is His child now, through your faith in Christ, become a winner in this life. That, my fellow believer, is God's unfailing love in action towards you. His unfailing love towards you goes on while your timing is set adjusted and in sync with God's perfect timing. However, by the time you get negative to Bible doctrine, you neglect it, you take it for granted, you begin to decline, you begin to experience a downtrend spiritual maladjustment. Why? What's the reason? Because your timing is now bad. You're out of fellowship with God. You're out of God's protocol plan. 
you're residing in Satan's cosmic dinosaur fears. Now you're a loser. But we know that we have a God who is a God of second chance. God says, don't get discouraged. I am just tapping my foot, waiting for you to come back to your right senses. I'll give a chance to pick all of the shattered pieces in your Christian life by adjusting again, setting again, be in sync again to my right and perfect timing. Of course, the first thing you should do is use the recovery technique of 1 John 1 9, the rebound technique. Then you know the rest. Right there, 1 Peter 5 6, it says, Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. In due time. You know what it means? It means God's timing. Did you get the picture? And listen, to be in sync, to be adjusted to God's perfect timing is continued consistency in perception, metabolization, and application of Bible doctrine. When you are wronged and treated in injustice, you do not fight back. Instead, leave everything at God's timing. And get this, this becomes a fantastic principle in application. Promotion in God's plan and God's grace is always in perfect timing. Therefore, if God does not promote you, you are not promoted. Remember this, there is a wrong time for promotion, there is a proper time for promotion. But don't forget this principle as our guide with regards to promotion. If you want to be promoted by God in His perfect time, then as a believer, be very sure that you are in the right place at the right time with the right attitude. What is the right place? Inside the operational divine dynosphere or protocol plan of God. What is the right time? Capacity for life. That includes capacity for happiness, capacity to receive God's temporal escrow blessings, capacity to glorify God to the max. Now what's the right attitude? Positive volition to Bible doctrine. As possible, a boiling hot attitude towards doctrine. We are going to study more on this tomorrow. Father, we thank you for this opportunity of studying your word today. May God, the Holy Spirit, challenge and motivate us to these things. Thank you for our Bible study through the YouTube of the Vic Balbido Evangelistic Ministry. All this we ask in Christ's name. Amen.